Hello, wonderful third grade super crew kids. Welcome to day one of week 29 of your daily language review. Um, so at this point, you should have already done your best to have found all of the mistakes in your day one of week 29. Um, and now you're just checking in with me to make sure that you did find them all. So follow along. And if you missed any, that's totally okay. Now is your chance to fix it. Number one says, it taked nine years for workers to build the Statue of Liberty. Um, so in this one, there are a few mistakes. First of all, the past tense of take is not taked. It is took. T-O-O-K. It took nine years. Then workers ends with E-R-S, not O-R-S. So workers should be spelled W-O-R-K-E-R-S. It took nine years for workers to build the Statue of Liberty. Now, the Statue of Liberty is a really important place. It's the name of a, a statue that's in New York. So it is a proper noun, meaning it needs to be capitalized. So statue, the S should be capitalized. And liberty, the L should be capitalized. So that's it for number one. There are four mistakes. Make sure you found all four. Number two, the, the statue was finished. It was given to America on July 4, 1884. Um, so first of all, the statue was finished is missing the word when. So your sentence should read when the statue was finished and make sure that W is capitalized. Mine is, but it's written kind of small, so it's hard to tell when the statue was finished. It was gived. So this here, past tense, should be given. G-I-V-E-N. When the statue was finished, it was given to America on July 4, 1884. Now, in this date, we're missing a comma. Do you know where it goes? It doesn't go after the month. It goes after the day. So you should have a comma after July 4, comma, 1884. So number two should read, when the statue was finished, it was given to America on July 4, 1884. That's it for number two. We have one, two, three mistakes in that one. Number three. So in this one, we're trying to figure out the proper meaning of in your packet, it's a bolded word. Here I underlined it, and that word is present. Um, present has two different definitions. It could be a gift that someone gives you, or it's a period of time happening now. Um, so that might, like an example of that is a lot of times people will say like, be present, be in the moment. Um, so we need to figure out if in this sentence, in the context it's being used, if it's being used as a gift, or if it's talking about something happening right now. The Statue of Liberty was a present to the U.S. from pants. So in that sentence, they're saying that it was a gift from, to the U.S. from France. So number three, the correct answer is a gift. Now, for number four, um, we're working on analogies. And we've talked about these before, and we've talked about um, what these mean. So maybe you remember how to read it correctly. Um, so if you can, follow along reading it out loud with me. If not, then it's good that we're doing this so you can be reminded. So in this analogy, what this is saying is July 4th is to date as two o'clock is to, and the correct answer is time. So for that analogy, the correct answer is time. So that's all we have today for um, day one of week 29 of your daily language review. Nice work, and we'll see you tomorrow to do it again.